A South African super megastar, Lebu Matosa was born in July 1977. She sang quieter music, house music, dance music, as well as R&B. Lebu Matosa was born in Daveton, a small town just outside of Benoni. The family later moved to Johannesburg where she attended St. Mary's High School. And Lebu began singing at the age of seven where she joined her local church choir. When her family moved to Johannesburg, she was discovered by the Bubblegum Music Group. At the age of 14, Matosa was discovered by a Johannesburg DJ and soon joined Boom Shaka, a group that was formed in 1994. The group came with a fresh sound to music and a new perspective, reminiscent of American R&B and hip hop in the 90s. Together with her partner in crime, Tembi Siete, they would rock the world. The group Boom Shaka would consist of four members, Junior Soketla, Lebu Matosa, Theo Lengetua, and Tembi Siete. The first album was produced in 1994. Boom Shaka's first single, It's About Time, was released in 1993. Boom Shaka became one of the most successful bands of the mid-90s in South Africa, and their music became the soundtrack of many young people in the newly democratic South Africa. Boom Shaka was and will always be one of the best groups in South Africa. Boom Shaka was able to break the international market and achieve success outside of South Africa, in London, among many other places. Although the group was highly successful, they would later break up and Lebo would become solo. So she turned solo in 1999. Her first debut solo album, Dream, went gold within a month of its launch in 2000. At the 2000 South African Music Awards, Matosa won three South African Music Awards and Best Dance Album for Dream, Best Dance Single for her debut single, Doza Bantu, from the same album, and Best Female Vocalist. Her next album, Drama Queen, released in 2004, Again, she earned the South African Music Award for Burst Dance Album. She topped the South African pop charts in 2004 and in 2006 she was nominated for a British Mobile Award in the Best African Act category. She performed all over the world, from Southern Africa to Malaysia to Trafalgar Square in London. One of her most significant performances being at the Nelson Mandela's 85th birthday party. Lebu was truly a genius at what she did. In 2019, 13 years after she had passed, a biopic was released about Lebu Matosa's life and the title was called Dream. It was released on the BET Africa Network Award in November. This was something that the South African public had been waiting for for a long time and this is what it looked like. There's so many um, that I love in terms of Lebel songs um, from the Boom Shaka days to her solo stuff. I'm just a huge fan. I, the role in the biopic would later be played by a South African singer called KB. She is a South African R&B singer as well as an actress. After rigorous hours of auditions and trying to find the perfect Lebu, whose shoes were too big to be filled, KB was then chosen to play out the role. KB has never taken this as something quite light. She has, in fact, in her own words, said that this is the best thing she's done. Easy journey to play this character because it is beyond imagination. It is larger than life. 
Every day is a new experience. Every single thing is a new experience. And walking in Levels shoes, so to speak, I think it is amongst one of the greatest things I've ever done. So Lebu did experience some personal problems just like anybody else. It was rumored that she once had a miscarriage and the person she was seeing at the time did in fact cheat on her which sent her down the path of self-destruction. She was known for her fierce personality, her outrageous on-stage costumes as well as openly being bisexual. She passed away on the 23rd of October in 2006. She was also known for being compared to legendary singer Brenda Fassi who passed away at the age of 39 and Lebu passed away at the age of 29. She had passed away due to a vehicular accident, but ever since then the country has been mourning for her and wonders if we will ever see another Lebu Matosa. African icons deserve to be celebrated, deserve to be displayed and showcased. Stay tuned and wait for more videos to come. Be safe.